This video is about mathematics activities for grade 6 pupils. The lesson in the video is about geometry. The first thing to learn about is how to draw a line parallel to another line. We have line PQ and we want to construct a line that is parallel to PQ. So what we do is that we mark three points on this line PQ. Point A, point B, point C such that AB is equal to BC. After that, you adjust your compass to a radius AB. So this is AB and you adjust your compass to that length AB like that. And then you make X from A and B on the same side of the line. So we make X from A, we, you put your pair of compass here like that and from A you make this arc, from B you make another arc, okay, and also make an arc from B on the same side of the line, make an arc here and make an arc there. Okay, after you have done that, you join the points of intersection of the arcs. So this is where the point of intersection is of the arcs. So you join the two points with a straight line. And that line that you'll obtain will be parallel to PQ. So this line is parallel to PQ. And that's how we do it. The next thing is how to bisect a straight line. So we have line AB and we want to bisect that line. So what we do is that you adjust your pair of compass to a radius that is greater than half line AB. So this is AB. So we adjust the radius of this compass so that it is more than half. Half is here and we we adjust the radius to be more than half after that we make arcs from a and b on both sides of the line all right so you put your uh, pair of compass here you make an arc down there you make an arc up there you also put the, the pair of compass here you make an arc here to intersect that arc and you make an arc down there to intersect the other arc so you'll have those two those arcs and they intersect at those points so what you do you now join the points of intersection of the arcs with a straight line and the line that you'll obtain will be the bisector of line AB alright and it is going to be perpendicular to line AB. That's how we bisect a straight line. Now let's see how we can construct a perpendicular line at a point on a line. So in this particular case we have line AB and we want to construct a perpendicular line at this point O. Right. So what we do is that we are going to use O as the sender and then we mark two arcs. This arc and this arc here. The distance from O to this point is the same as from O to this point. And we label these two, two arcs. These two points we label X, Y. After that, you adjust the compass a radius that is greater than this distance OX and OY. So you adjust the compass so that the it is just 
more than that distance. After that, you put your pair of combers here at X. You make an arc up here. You also put the pair of combers here at Y and make an arc to intersect the other arc like that. So where the two arcs will intersect, you now join that point with the point O. So that straight line is going to be perpendicular to line AB. That's how we can construct a perpendicular line to a given line. All right. Now next is how we can use a protractor to measure angles. So we have that line PQ, all right, and that line we shall call it the reference line. And then we have this line which forms an angle with the reference line and the angle is B. So we want to measure angle B using a protractor. That's a protractor, all right. It has what we call the, the baseline. This line here, the baseline, it has this center, it's called the origin, and it has two scales, the outer scale and the inner scale in degrees. So we, we are supposed to measure the angle formed by this line with the, with the reference line. So this angle, how much is it? So in this case, we are going to use the delta scale, which begins at 0 on the, on the right. So we have 0, 10, 20, 30, like that. So we find that this angle is exactly 50 degrees. So you can use the outer scale to read the angle that you have been asked to find, which is 50 degrees. That's how we use a protractor to measure angles. And then we want to learn about the sum of the angles on a straight line. We have this line here, and we have these other lines which form angles on this straight line. We have this angle, 28 degrees, this angle is Y, and this angle is 62 degrees. So what is the value of angle Y? This is what we do. So we use calculations. Now we know that the, the sum of the angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. That means 28 degrees plus Y plus 62 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. All right? So you form some equation, right? So 28 plus 62, you get 90 degrees plus y. This y is equal to 180 degrees. So 90 degrees plus y is 180. So y is equal to, we subtract 90 from both sides. So if you subtract 90 from here, you get, you remain with y is equal to 180 minus 90, you get 90. So the value of y here is equal to 90 degrees. So if you add these three angles, 28 plus 90 plus 62, you should get 180 degrees. The sum of the angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. Next is uh, the, the sum of the angles in a triangle. We have this triangle uh, with these three angles, of course. We have 53 degrees, 75 degrees, and angle X. We are required to find the value of angle X. This is what we do. Uh, we know that the sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, x plus 53 degrees plus 75 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So you form an equation, right? So x plus this, 53 plus 75 is 128. 
So x plus 128 is equal to 180. To find x, you subtract 128 from both sides. So x plus 128 minus 128, you get x is equal to 180 minus 128. So you get 52 degrees. So the value of x is equal to 52 degrees. Right? So an equation here is like a weighing machine. What you do on the left hand side, you do also on the right hand side. Like here, we subtracted 180 from this left hand side. We also subtract 128 from the right hand side. So we get the answer as 52 degrees. And then we are supposed to find the number of faces, number of vertices, the number of edges on a given figure. This is a cuboid. All right. It has faces. This is a face, 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 face. It also has edges. This is an edge, an edge, an edge, an edge like that. And it also has vertices. This one vertex. This is a vertex, vertex, vertex. When the remainder are called vertices. So how many phases, vertices, and edges are there in the cuboid shown? So we can count the number of phases. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So phases are 6. Edges are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So edges are 12. How about the vertices? They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 vertices. That is what we do. All right? So you can have other uh, shapes like a pyramid, a pyramid, a cube, a cuboid, and so on. So you, you are required to find the number of edges, faces, and vertices by counting. That's the end. If you like my video, kindly like, share, and subscribe to see more videos about mathematical activities.